There's paranormal vlog here. This is my second time doing this picture review, but to check the... I always have to check that the mic's on, because <laughs> it'd be so disappointing doing a video and then the mic wasn't even on. Anyway, I've already did open this video, guys. Eh, I did a video, guys, right? I did it last week when I got this picture box in, but it, my f I hadn't formatted my memory card before I started, so I have to start again. I've already seen everything in here, right, which is maybe a wee bit of a bummer for you, I don't know, you'd like to see my surprise on my face. So I will try my hardest to recreate the surprise that I had, okay? Right, here we go. This is a really good this month, honestly, right, as we know, we always get the bubble wrap. I've already took out all the wee pellets and things, okay, I've unboxed, as you know, so all the pellets are out of So we've got what, usual, we have our envelope with the seasons on it. This dog always starts this. Sparkle! Stop! The minute I go to record or I talk to somebody on the phone, Sparkle starts rolling about and making noises. Every time, even when I'm on the phone. Right, so we'll have the envelope. And as you know, well, if you can remember, what I get every time there's a season due. And of course, last season was a star. Yeah, what do we see? A star, and it's got lovely wee hairs all the way around. And it says green, pink, blue, orange, yellow, and pastel colours. That's like all your nice colours for the, the, the summer coming, preparing for summer type of thing. And your goddess and your gods are Aphrodite, Osta, Maku, Lady of the Lake, Miniva, Isis, Rita, Kotoku, Adonis, Lady of the Greenwood, Ovis, Odin, Dylan, Osiris, Astis, and Mythis. Mithras, Mithras, herbs and flowers, I'm going to go through them all guys, but you've got a better idea, your crystals is rose quartz, aquamarine, amethyst, jasper, moonstone, aventurine, and your incense is jasmine, violet, rose, sage, strawberry, orange peels and lotus, any type really, any floral, any smelly, <laughs> any floral <flurry> smelling, <laughs> right, so that is your, we're Ostara, and what a typical day with these is, right, when I'm doing my season altar, I'll sit up. Some people put it in their books of shadows and things and do a bit about it. But I like to hang it on the wall or sit it next to my altar with all my other Astara stuff. And I just it just helps me concentrate and it's a quick reference as well for whatever you want to do. And as, as you always know, I don't ever show you the information. Oh, I forgot, actually, I forgot we had this. In this um, month's box, we have the goat's rue herbs and I did show you a wee bit about this the last time so I'm going to have to reopen it and show you again the rue and things is just really look it's just really like uh, grass look, dry grass guys nothing special with the rue just like your dry grass typical herbs right nothing it smells just like tea and but this one is your Sabbath Ostara mix and this was actually quite nice I showed you this when I did it the last time as well but I'll show you again obviously because you've not really seen it but this has got a lot of nice flowers in it i try and grab a bit that's got loads of flowers guys you've got your yellow, let me show you, you've got your wee yellow flowers like wee I don't even know what they're called, guys. Primrose, I think it's primrose. Uh, we your uh, rose petals, just other different herbs. It's just basically a mixture of all the different herbs, guys. But it's really lovely. I don't know if you can see that. It's good. The light's not so good down here because it's nearly night. It just smells nice and floral. It, it smells florally. It basically smells like old roses, like dried roses, to be honest. And you never really smell it all until you start making incense and things with it. That's when all the different smells come out. Or you burn it on a charcoal disc, that's when you smell all the nice smells. Right, now this is the hair. This is the... I've already made the decision that I'm going to do these spells uh, for you. Um, I've already asked Freya and Freya said yes, I can do it. As long as it's a mixture of my words and hers and it's no a direct copy of Freya's words. So... You know me guys, I've got the gift of the gab, I can do it as I go along or I'll write it down, my own words, a mixture of mine, a mixture of hers and we'll do these spell kits, right? This is Blother, Blother, this is Mother Nature, Mother Earth, sorry, group spell. They already did all this on the 
Freya's Cauldron Facebook page, they've already did this group spell because I missed it because my box wasn't in because I couldn't afford it guys, that's the truth um, so I ended up I managed to get it and Freya always keeps up my box for me because she knows I always get it every month and some weeks I can afford it when it's due and others I can't but I always get it as soon as I can afford it especially when it's one of the season's boxes because I don't want to miss out on all the collection so we've got the Blessed Mother Nature group spell. It was meant to be done on the 28th of March at 8pm, but I will show you that I can still do it. Doesn't it matter, doesn't it need to be whatever season to do these spells. I'll still do it, I'll still record it, and I'll show you. Right, I hope you're enjoying all the spell work, by the way. Uh, same with the memory card, I had a couple of things. I had did a candle and things for a lot of people, just to help lift their spirits, maybe help them with their, their health. Uh, and I had recorded it all in that same memory care, guys, and I lost it all. But just everybody's candle went really good. There was only a couple of wee things that maybe I would have caused a wee bit of concern if I was reading them, like a, like a, as a as a client, as a for a client. A couple of wee things, but what I seen in them, I just fixed. So everybody should be feeling okay that got their, their candle done. And it's a brown candle this month. Makes sense, Mother Earth. So, your brown's usually your earth. Sparkle, go lie down. I'm sure she just wonders who I'm talking to, folks. Uh, Energise Creativity Spell. This is going to be good. See, for the likes of Ostara, that's like the start of creation type of thing. Like, you've planted your seeds last season. So, you've planted your seeds. Now, you're waiting on the growth. So, this is to energise that creativity. Uh, maybe you've just started a new business. I've just opened up my witchy shop. I've got loads of different in stock stuff. I've got my hair, my hair. Well, I've got all my hairs anyway. I've got all my incense I want to sell. I've got a couple of neighbours. I've actually had one neighbour making me angel wings. I've now got her friend making me angel wings and a couple of wee different things as well. Um, I've seen a couple of things that people will make for me if I maybe give them like um, so much money up front and they're going to make me these different things. I just need to put a wee bit of money into it and they're going to make them. So the things are going good with my shop guys. And this is what I'll do, I'll do this spell video, I'll record this spell as well and this will show you the energy I'm going to put, and I will use my own words for this and I'll put, to show you the energy that I'm going to put into it, which is typically the energy to make my shop grow, right? And in this we get A lovely moon, a lovely moon card. This is like your moon phases, especially if you want to work on a full moon, on a, even some people like to work on when it's the split down the middle, I can't remember what that's called, when the moon's half and half. A lot of people like to work when it's that, because that means it's equal moons, and that type of thing. So you could typically use this card if it's a full moon, a new moon, or whatever. But it's just to give you focus, all these things is to give you focus on what you're trying to to put out there. So when I would typically put that on, I would put whatever herbs and things that I want to create. I mean, it'll all be explained in Leah's, Freya's leaflet anyway. But it's to, just to give me the focus of the abundance. How much I want to put in it is how much I'll get back. And I think we've got a candle in this as well. We've got the yellow candle in this. And she gives you the candle and things just to give you a guideline because a lot of people will get these kits and they'll not really know much more about the wider aspect to witchcraft and so they don't really know what to do so with me I already know what I basically what to do but I like to get the sub box because it gives me a focus it gives me the the little box like the envelope just to go quickly get it done and things and I don't need to put too much thought in it so that's why I like the sub box for the spells because it's all done for you but the more that I'm getting into my craft, the more I'm changing the words, the more I'm realising that if I use my words, the more powerful things are. So, it's all a learning curve, and you never ever totally learn. Don't believe anybody when they say they know everything, because nobody knows everything. So that's another one, guys, I'll record. And I want to show you this, right? But I'm going to leave the best thing I think is in this box for last. But this is the Ostara play. As you know, every witchy season we always get like a wee trinket box or something. So this is, and as, as you have been watching my videos, you already know they have already got these the last seasons. I think this is the last one. And it's with for Ostara. And it's always got hairs and flowers and things just because 
that's to do with Easter and things like that. Don't know, oh, I forgot, there's actually two things brilliant in this box, but I'll, I'll leave the most amazing to last. Look at this, guys, on the amethyst chunk. You are not going to see the, how great this is because of the lighting in here. But look, wait, now I've got a light somewhere. Where did I put my light? Spark will probably go for heating out this, but watch this, guys, right, wait, I put my light on. I might blind you a wee minute, so just be. I'll be careful, I'll try my hardest not to blind you right with this light. I just want you to see the full effect of this crystal. Oh, I know it's bright guys, I'm sorry. Sparkle, don't start. I'll leave it there like this so you can see the full effect. Now look at that piece of amethyst, do you see that? It's an amethyst... Like chunk tumble stone type of thing it's beautiful guys honest to god it, wait, no, i don't want to blind you right but see if you see this no see how beautiful that is you could get four different kinds in the witchy box and i was so happy i got amethyst i think freya must have read my mind because I, amethyst is the best stone to connect to spirit no matter what anybody will tell you about all these different fancy ones it's expensive Believe me, amethyst is the best. The spirits told me theirself that they wanted amethyst and patchouli. And I've said this for months now because I remembered and I, I remembered in my mind what they said. Because when I started my witchy box, eh, sorry, when I started my shop, I was going to just put random things in my shop. And then I really thought about it. I took my shop back offline and I really thought about it. I thought, no, but if I'm going to do this correct, I need to use things that works for me so that I can promote that. And I remembered about them telling me amethyst, they told me patchouli, and I didn't even have a clue what patchouli was. I had to Google it to see what patchouli was. And then I really, I, I didn't know whether to get it in its truest form. I didn't know whether to get it in incense. So I ended up getting the incense and from then on, touch with it always continues, I've always connected to spirit. So that's why in my witchy shop you'll see things that work for me. Uh, it will only be the biggest shop in the world and I don't want that anyway, but and I'll be stocking amethyst soon guys. And I'm really, really thinking about getting a hold of Freya and getting some of this, these crystals and... Um, in its raw form. My raw form is downstairs guys or I would show you that as well, but it's downstairs. And that's beautiful, I really like that. And I'm over the moon that you could get uh, that I got the amethyst. And we've got the oils. The oil this month was for Shabbat or Stara. That's really nice. I don't even know where to start with telling you what's in this, honestly. It's quite, it's very strong, it's very powerful. It, all three of oils are powerful. That's why I think I've learned so good at making my own oils is because I've got Freer's recipes. She gave me some of her recipes, guys, a way back when um, I first got the... started getting the sub box and things. She, she gave you a, a oil making kit in one of the boxes and she, she really did get into detail of how to make your oils and things. So I was really glad of that because I don't think you can get that any more offer. So that's why I learned so good to make my oils. And they're all grapeseed based. And this is your candles. For a star, obviously, as we remember, the pale colours, the white, the pink, the blue, the orange and the lilac. And this will be probably for the group spell, so I might not need to use all these candles, but they'll get used anyway. They always do. I'll be a bit due buying another big batch of candles, actually. Right, so, and last but definitely not least... I've kept the best to last. Wait, you see this? I'm over the moon with it. I really did. Remember I always say this is if Freya reads my mind? I honestly think she read my mind, guys, with this because I take my bracelets off at night and either sit them on my altar or I sit them beside the bed. And this is perfect. Look at that. A trinket dish. Is that no brilliant? I mean, you could use that for herbs and things, even if it's the new moon and things in your day spell work. You could use that for your herbs and things as well. 
And I actually, Freya's, one of Freya's workers, um, well, she does witchy reveal videos too, guys, so have a wee look, right? But she's also got this, and she gave me the idea, uh, you could even put water in it. See if you're, you're stuck for something to put water in quickly, you could even put water in that. So it's, it's universal, you can use it for anything. But I will be using it for beside my bed to put my bracelets in at night. So it's brilliant. I thought, I thought that was super amazing. That and the amethyst crystal is my favourite. <laughs> and I'm not going to go back through everything and repack pack the box, guys, like I usually do, because I'm going to put everything past now. That's why I redid the video um, to get it out today, because I wanted to get to show you, and I didn't want to just put everything past. And I do thank you all for everything that you'd like me to show you. I know Dobby Socks really likes my witchy reveal videos, so... This was for you, Dobby, okay? Thanks, guys. And the, but the bonus is we'll be doing it late. There'll be another witchy box reveal next week. So I'll see you next week for another bit witchy reveal. Bye. If I can get